Chris did a Bima number, 697, 557. Holy <laughs> This is just a stock flange turbo. Hey, this is Bill with Barrett. And in this episode, we are not working on my car. In fact, we're over on the East Coast at Ray City Auto Works and Chris Singer working on the Cork Sport 2nd Gen and his bad crazy drag car. So as I'm sitting right now, we're heading our way over to the dyno. We're gonna see what the CS car puts down on the rollers. So to give you a little bit of context of how the weekend's been going so far, it happens. And in fact, we had a little bit of that happen to the second gen CS car. So last night, we finally troubleshot that we had a timing green slippage. And if you don't know what that is or aren't familiar with it, there's a trigger wheel on the harmonic balancer on the crank. And that trigger wheel is really important because it basically tells the engine where everything is in its rotation pattern. Um, specifically, ignition timing being one of the big ones. So the car was kind of running, didn't really want to make power. We started doing some troubleshooting, checking timing, and with some help of, uh, you know, Will and PD tuning and Justin and Freak Tune, we're able to diagnose that we had a timing ring issue. Figured that out, checked it on the car, confirmed it, and then had a long night of getting that pulley off the engine, making a tool to help us do that process, re-welding the timing ring, and getting it back onto the engine. So this morning, we went out, we did a test hit, and the car is ripping. I mean, it's, it's, it pulls from 3,600 all the way up to 82, where it finally says, okay, that's enough. So with that in the bag, we're heading to the dyno. We're gonna see what it does on the rollers. I'll keep you updated on that. Number three, 
did a little touch up tune and what were the results? Another 16 foot pounds, another 14 horsepower and like I mentioned earlier hitting at three so torque picked up just a little bit as a uh, boost is rolling in and lighting off so that's probably a better representation of what the street would feel like. Chris is really gung-ho to beat my 684, so he's got Will on the on the phone, doing a little more control plus plus. He's gonna see if we can get just another six horsepower out of it. Stay tuned. Chris did a beat my number, 697, 557, holy you know This is just a stock flange turbo. CST6 is, I don't, I don't have RPM here, we got speed, but hold on. On three, got turbos full, getting some power by four. Five, we're back at four, 75 foot pounds. Carrying that all the way to 75, hell, almost got 450 at 8,000 RPM. And we are literally skimming 700 wheel. So that's a CST6. Fully bolted. Torx port, four inch intake, battery box, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, prototype three and a half inch exhaust. We got an FMIC kit, throttle body, overspeed built engine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, super pumped right now. Will giving it the sauce. Chris giving it the love that it deserves to end up here. Chris, how you feeling? Box range. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe we should uh, go do some night riding night. There's the man right there. Let him fool you. He's got a eaten grin. Chris, how you feeling right now? Stock flange record. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Okay. <laughs> That's how Chris is actually feeling. This was just. I see. All right. So I got to turn up next. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't happen without him. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're gonna call that a wrap for the night. So stock flange CST6, uh, doing 697 of the wheels, 557 wheel torque. Uh, that's on a dyno jet, just to be official. Uh, thanks to the guys here at Driven Tuning. Um, got them at the owner. Uh, some of the guys that work here, awesome crew. Super cool, letting us kind of go through some maps and evaluate how to make the car make more power. Uh, so really glad I met them. Came over here to the East Coast to do this. Chris Singer, honestly, like, you putting in work, get this car here. Uh, so I am so stoked to be a part of this. And then, uh, see that guy right? Where is he? Right there, Zach Arlen, uh, helping out in the shop. He's mostly been doing stuff on the drag car, but he's definitely here kicking ass with this, enjoying this. First time in a CST6 powered car, and he was shocked, to say the least. I was shocked again, honestly. Like, it's just awesome. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.